الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا 
من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله Look at the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala O you who believe Anytime Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls on believers Pay attention He is talking to you It's either something you should do Or something you should stay away from Let's see what this is for He said and Fusakum. Who means protect yourself. No one more valuable than yourself. وَأَهْلِيكُمْ Then protect your family, your wife and your children mainly. Protect them from what? نَارًا From hellfire. Now, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not say protect them from cold or protect them from hunger or protect them from thirst or from things like that? Because this is basic. Everyone does it. And this is not everlasting because everyone is going to die. And after death, what happens? That's the problem. Many people don't know. It's either heaven or hell. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, protect them from hellfire mainly. Not just provide for them everything they want. And then you ignore teaching them, you ignore sending them to school, you ignore ignore connected them with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you think you're doing good you're not you're not doing good at all the main purpose of creation is worship this is top priority you don't compromise it every da'i every da'ya every person calls to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every reminder he should never forget four things four things every da'ya must include in his reminder بالقبر وثالثا بجهنم ورابعا بالخاتمة. Four number one death الموت. Why? Because you're gonna die. I'm gonna die. We all gonna die. So don't attach yourself to this world and think you're going to be permanent. Don't think because you have a lot of money or a lot of power that you're not gonna die. You will die. The best of mankind, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Guess what? He died. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Number two, the grave. That this is another phase of life. The life in the grave. It's a life like similar. I'm not going to compare it to this life, but it's a life with its own rules. It's not the day of judgment. Like some people deny the punishment in the grave and say the day of judgment did not start. Well, we are getting punished here and the day of judgment did not start. The grave is not the day of judgment. It is another life between this life and the hereafter. And there are punishments in the grave. Riba is one of them, interest. And not purifying yourself when they go to the bathroom, it's another one. Backbiting and gossip is another one. So protect yourself from the grave, the punishment in the grave. And number three, the hellfire. The hellfire. 
In the ayah it says, وَقُودُهَا النَّاسِ وَالْحِجَارَةِ Picture this. Now you put gas on the fire. Boom. You say, oh, this is flammable. Well, we are going to be more flammable than gasoline when it comes to the hellfire. May Allah protect us. Human being, those who go to hellfire, when the person goes to hellfire, it's like you're adding gas to it. Not only human being, you might say, oh, this is not too big. Stones, rocks are gasoline to hellfire. That's how hot it is. 69 times more hot than the hottest fire on earth. The hottest fire on earth, not our oven. Talk about volcanoes and such. 69 times more hot. So you remind about that. And finally, Il Khatima, your end. Your end. What is your end? Where do you want to be? It's Jannah or Hellfire. When you die, you ended your actions here. So think about death and think about the grave and think about the hellfire and think about where you want to go. You want to go to heaven? Don't sleep too much. Don't sit too much. Don't feel happy so much. Don't think you're going to be permanent here. You want something permanent and good? You gotta roll up your sleeves and work for it. It's not cheap. It's not for lazy people, and it's not for people who don't think about it. So let's work and plan. And I commend you all and your parents for being here at Islamic School of Irving. This is fulfilling the ayah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, for you who believe, protect yourself, and your family, and your family has protected you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and bless your family and protect you from the punishment of the grave and the punishment of the hellfire and make your end a wonderful end, insha'Allah, not just to Jannah but to Firdaus. Asbahna wa asbah al mulku lillah wa alhamdulillah la ilaha illallah. وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير ربي أسألك خير ما في هذا اليوم خير ما بعده ربي أعوذ بك من شر هذا اليوم وشر ما بعده ربي أعوذ بك من الكسر وسوء الكبر ربي أعوذ بك من عذاب في النار وعذاب في القبر Also talk about those four reminders and talk about death sister شانيلا her father passed away a few days ago. And the Prophet ﷺ told us that the parents are doors to Jannah. Imagine when one of your parents die, one door in the Jannah is closed. Because he is your path to it. That's how you should take care of your mom and take care of your dad and be good. And remember that sooner or later, you're going to depart, so obedience is now, love is now, respect is now, not tomorrow. Not after they go and you start, I wish and I should have and I could. No, it's now. So her dad passed away, and you know this is shocking, so we need to make dua for her and for her dad, insha'Allah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد في الأولين وصل على محمد في الآخرين وصل على محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين اللهم اغفر له وارحم اللهم اغفر له وارحم اللهم اغفر له وارحم اللهم باعد بينه وبين خطاياه كما باعدت بين المشرق والمغرب اللهم اغسله بالماء والثلج والبرد اللهم أبدله دارا خيرا من داره وأهلا خيرا من أهله وزوجا خيرا من زوجه اللهم أدخله الجنة وقه عذاب النار وعذاب القبر اللهم اغفر له ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان اللهم لا تفتنا بعدهم 
اللهم لا تفتنا بعدهم ولا تحرمنا اجرهم اللهم ثبت اهله اللهم صبر زوجته وصبر ابنائه اللهم صبرهم جميعا لان الله سبحانه وتعالى grant the family patience and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala admit her father to heaven, protect him from hellfire and the punishment of the grave and purify him from all sins and have mercy on him. Jazakum Allahu khayran, subhanak Allahumma bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illa an, astaghfiruka wa atubu alaykum, assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.